Hey guys, Shane from Liberty Under Attack Radio here. Just wanted to do a uh, a quick video uh, this evening on on a video that I actually uh, watched uh, just a few minutes ago. Uh, it was on the subject of uh, why anarchists should not vote. So that's right in my wheelhouse. It really is from from all the stuff I've done uh, on the anti-libertarian Libertarian Party, and uh, obviously how little attention. Uh, we give uh, to the two major parties on LUA Radio, unless it's to make fun of them in the fascist book segment. But yeah, this video was uh, was really really good uh, in my opinion, and uh, it was only about three minutes long. And, th and this gentleman, I don't know who he is, but he put it far more eloquently than I than I, th I think I ever have. And with that said, I, I think he did a good job. But uh, when when you're telling someone not to do something, especially when it comes to voting. Um, and I know I've heard this, and that, that was the, the motivating factor for the, for the uh, Freedom Umbrella of Direct Action was, well, if I don't vote, then what can I do? So, I mean, telling people not to vote is, is fantastic, and the points that this guy makes are, are fantastic as well, but there's no action point. Uh, it's not, well, uh, well, well, don't vote, go and do all of these things instead. There wasn't anything like that. So, I'm going to turn you over to the video here, and when I come back, I will provide the action point for you. Uh, the only thing I was missing, and, and obviously we, we all can't do everything, so I'm not uh, saying that he sh he, he uh, should have done that or anything of that nature, but uh, that's what, what us in the alternative media have to do is help each other out, you know. So when I, when, when, uh, I come back, I will provide the uh, closing thoughts here, the action point, uh, as I've discussed. So uh, stay tuned, it'll be about three minutes, and I'll be right back. There are many people who would like to see major changes, oftentimes through the political sphere, to a world that more suits their preferences. If you've ever tried to point out to people about all the things that are morally repugnant in the political system and how corrupt it is, a very typical response is for them to tell you to get involved in the system and to make your voice heard. They will say that you should vote for the candidate that represents what you believe in and change the system from within. Or even better yet, run for office yourself if you believe that strongly. However, to tell that to an anarchist is to tell them that they should join a system that they fundamentally oppose the existence of in order to talk it into disbanding. Effectively, go against the conclusions that you've reached in order to see the end goal of those conclusions brought to fruition. Become a participant in the state in order to promote the removal of the system that you just joined. Truly, this is as ridiculous as telling an atheist to become a bishop of the Catholic Church in order to discuss the non-existence of God. Now, of course, anarchism as a conclusion can be reached through different means, including the argument from effect and the argument from morality. But in both conclusions, it would not make sense for an anarchist to vote for a political candidate. In the anarchist's mind, either the process of state politics is a poor or inefficient solution to problems, or a morally repulsive one, oftentimes both. For instance, one could argue that politicians take a very long time to address problems, if they are to address them at all, compared to the free market. In this case, it would be silly from an efficiency point of view to try to put your guy in power so that it could hopefully sway Congress's approval to the point of view you prefer. If you were to state that politics at its core uses the initiation of force, taxation, and involuntary dominion over the lives and workplace of others, then voting, in other words giving your support to a candidate working within the corrupt system, would be to say that to achieve moral ends you must support an immoral system. Perhaps the least ridiculous counterpoint is that you live in a certain world, and yes, a lot of things are bad but you can still make the best of bad circumstances by making do with the system that currently exists. To that, I would say that even so, fawning over political shows to keep yourself informed of the ongoings of politics, so that you are able to make the best possible choice when voting time comes around, is probably about the least efficient use of your time imaginable. From a simple math perspective, do you really find it more useful to spend hundreds of hours learning about political candidates and deciding whether they could represent you to be a more efficient use of your time than assisting others at an individual level? Anarchists, at the very least, reject political rulers as being valid. Since voting or direct political involvement ignores that stance, suggesting such things with no explanation will make no progress in the conversation. If you want to suggest action to anyone or convince them to change a stance, then you will need to... And welcome back. I hope you enjoyed uh, that video. Uh, yeah, I think he covers most, if not all, points. I think the only one he might have missed was uh, uh, the fact that when you when you vote, you legitimize the system. 
Um, but uh, other than that, yeah, he, he covered pretty much all of them. So um, whoever uh, made this video back in 2014, uh, definitely uh, congratulate him on uh, the work that he did. But uh, one thing I want to do here is, uh, as I mentioned, was provide the action points. So, so if if you decide not to vote, uh, which I hope you do, and if you, if you if you decide not to vote, I'd recommend you cancel your voter registration. Uh, there's a page on the OU website for that as well. I went through and found uh, uh, 39 out of 50 states. Uh, the legal remedy of canceling the voter registration. So I do hope that uh, if you are deciding not to vote, uh, give your middle finger to the state and uh, cancel it too. Uh, and cancel it too. Uh, as you can see, yeah, there's uh, there's 39 states here. 11 I couldn't find. Uh, I cannot find those in legal citation, but I did provide some some non-legal advice. Uh, if you uh, are in one of those 11 states, uh, there are some things you can uh, you can try. Just because it's not in, not explicit or easy to find, does not therefore mean that it's not there. So, uh, yeah, if you do decide not to vote, uh, consider canceling your voter registration. Uh, that's a really really good first step. But uh, yeah, uh, if you're one of those folks that uh, relies on voting, or I mean, you you don't know what else you can do other than work inside the system, I'd recommend you check out the uh, Freedom Umbrella of Direct Action. We just released the third edition on July 18th, five days ago, and <clears throat> there was a lot of stuff on here. There's a lot of stuff on here. I mean, there might be like less, ten or less uh, reformist means, like grassroots lobbying, voting, running for office, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. But uh, yeah, there are over a hundred on this list. So, uh, for, for those who are new to the Freedom Umbrella of Direct Action, it's a value-free directory of the economic means. Uh, I mean, Albert J. Nock, th th this, was, this was motivated by uh, his, his book, uh, Our Enemy, the State. Uh, there are the political means and the economic means of making money. The political means are known more commonly as reformism, uh, that is the uncompensated appropriation of wealth produced by others, and the economic means, which are better recognized as direct action, uh, the production and exchange of wealth. So this list only consists of the <laughs> uh, the production exchange of wealth, uh, the non-political means. But with that said, I mean, there, there's so much stuff on here. I mean, philosophy, uh, there's a bunch of stuff there. Strategic withdrawal, canceling the voter registration, as I mentioned. Uh, homeschooling, uh, psychology and interpersonal relationships. Vanu, uh, if you haven't uh, heard of Vanu, I transcribed the entire book. It's a book from uh, published in 1983 consisting of uh, articles written by Rayo from the 1950s or 60s to the 1970s. So it's an it's an old book. It's an old book. But uh, a lot of things mentioned there are uh, they they could have significant significant influence on uh, our freedom today. So uh, yeah, tinyurl.com forward slash Vani Rayo. Uh, again, uh, tinyurl.com forward slash Vani Rayo. You can check that out there. The audiobook is uh, is 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 on that page as well. Uh, a lot of good stuff there. Uh, culture jamming, like Simon Gestering, uh, meme hacks. Remember the uh, taxation is theft uh, uh, takeover of fascist book a month or so ago? Uh, yeah, that's uh, that's a form of uh, Simon Gestering. Or culture jamming at the very least, but uh, nonetheless. Yeah, a lot, a lot of good stuff on entrepreneurship, uh, survivalism, financial autonomy, things like uh, financial independence, early retirement, um, technology, liberty and networking, like uh, Freedom Cell, something uh, Derek Rose has been uh, promoting for, for quite some time. We had him on the uh, show uh, a couple months ago. Uh, that's one of the more recent videos on the uh, YouTube channel, uh, youtube.com forward slash liberty under attack. You can find that interview there. Uh, just a bunch of different stuff. Civil, civil disobedience, libertarian revolution, uh, all direct action. So if you are considering not voting uh, and, and, and you're worried because you don't know what you're going to do, that excuse is gone now. That excuse is gone. So yeah, if you're if you're not going to vote, if you're not going to vote, I'd say the first step to that uh, is canceling the voter registration. If you lost all faith in politics, which I mean most people should have should be now should by now, but uh, uh, but yeah, cancel your voter registration, and then after that, uh, if you're still looking for ways to create your own freedom right now, despite the state uh, without asking for permission, the Freedom Bill of Direct Action is a is is, is fantastic. It's, it's it's truly truly fantastic. And if you try one of them and and it, um damn, this doesn't work for me, you can go back and you can try something else. It's a home base of sorts. It's a home base. Uh, or there, I guess a better way to put it is a replay value if you're a gamer. So you try something, it doesn't work, you can always come back and try something else. That's the, that's the point. So, again, I, I really enjoy the video that he put up, but, uh, but yeah, there was, there was no action point. Uh, don't vote, but uh, what are you going to do besides that? Uh, there's so many things. There's so many things. If you're an anarchist, uh, uh, proprietary anarchist, uh, more specifically, there's so many things you can do. 
There really are. And politics has, ne has, has never set anyone free, and it's not going to. Uh, so you have to find the freedom that, that you desire right now. And there are many, many ways to do that. So with that said, I hope you enjoyed uh, um, my commentary on the video and uh, also, also the video itself. And uh, make sure to find us at uh, LibertyAndroAttack.com.